49ers end their regular season with a narrow one-point loss to the Los Angeles Rams at Levi's Stadium. Final score, 21-20 to in favor of LA in a game that really didn't have much value for the 49ers, at least. A uh, team that's already clinched the number one seed in the NFC. Uh, we'll have a bye week during the wild card round. And for the Rams, not much value either. I mean, they're in. I mean, this game really only had value in terms of seeding for the NFC. And as it stands now, the NFC is completely filled. The Packers got the last seed. And the Rams will actually take on uh, the Lions in Detroit. I mean, talk about a story, like a Hollywood type story. You have Jerry Goff going against his former team, Matthew Stafford going against his former team. Tons of history between, you know, those players on their former teams and two very good coaches on both sides, Dan Campbell and Sean McVay. Tons of young good players as well on both sides um, in Laporta and Nakua, but that's a story for another time. But the 49ers unfortunately lose, cannot sweep the division, and the Rams are a very good team. Not very surprised that they were able to get the victory. But this game was filled with backups, both teams playing their backup quarterback options, at least. Um, for the 49ers, it was Sam Darnold, and for the Rams, it was Carson Wentz. And both quarterbacks actually played pretty good. I mean, Darnold technically was the reason the 49ers, um, you know, potential game-winning drive was unable to prosper, but it's not really a big deal at the end of the day. He had a pretty good game. <clears throat> Darnold threw for 189 yards and a touchdown. Wentz had a similar stat, stat line. He had two touchdowns, but 163 yards. He also ran a lot on the ground. He was the leading rusher for LA. He ran in for a touchdown and had 56 yards. Puka Nakua um, officially broke the rookie receiving record and was just one yard shy of it after his 19 yard touchdown reception early on, but then later broke it. And uh, for the 49ers as well, uh, uh, Taylor Hawkins, who made his NFL debut, got an interception. So some young players getting opportunities and that was kind of cool to see from an outsider you know, not really having much, you know, value of this game, but it still was very important for individuals and individual players kind of auditioning maybe for future roles on this team or other teams, especially for the quarterbacks um, that will, you know, hopefully try to get starting jobs in the future. So yeah, for both teams, you know, it started out pretty punchy. You know, the 49ers scored about midway through the first quarter, Elijah Mitchell, one yard run, um, and that made it seven nothing. Jake Moody in this game for the 49ers, Honestly, it was the reason they lost. He missed a field goal and a PAT. And, of course, losing by one point. I mean, that's basically the reason you lose. Puka Nakua, like I said, had a 19-yard, very, very good pass. He was actually interfered with on the pass and the flag was thrown. But he was still able to make the catch in the end zone. And that was after a very good 75-yard drive. And Wentz made the connection. In the second quarter, though, Sam Donald ran in a touchdown. And um, 49ers got down there. And he had a nice little one-yard sneak for a you know touchdown and the 49ers went up 14 to 7 and uh, Ronnie Bell got a five yard pass from Darnold as well about six minutes later towards the end of the half 20 to 7 49ers and that's where Moody misses the PAT um, going to the third quarter uh, the Rams cut the lead in half essentially with a Tyler Johnson uh, reception from Carson Wentz so it's 20 to 13 um, but the Maher PAT failed so I guess you know, the, the PAT missed by the 49ers didn't really matter, I guess, but they still missed a field goal. But Carson Wentz ultimately won the game, and it was a 12-yard run from him and uh, threw to 2-2 two -two out well for a two-point conversion, winning the game, and 21-20 to, to 20 is the final score. So for the 49ers, you know, game doesn't really matter. For the Rams, I mean, it helped their seeding, I guess, a little bit. I don't really know if it changed much, though. And, uh, you know, a good game for both teams. I mean, like I said, both teams did not really play their starters. The 49ers did start out with Debo Samuel and Ayuk on the field, but uh, Brock Purdy and McCaffrey weren't even dressed for this game. I mean, they wouldn't really have to be. Ayuk made three receptions for 20, uh, 25 yards. Debo had 21 yards. The leading receiver for San Francisco was Chris Conley, who had 69 yards. Um, leading rusher for SF was Elijah Mitchell with 52. For the Rams, they had Carson Wentz and Rivers running the ball mostly. Um, Bryce Hopkins was the leading receiver. Nakua, though, did play. Of course, he got his record and everything. That was really cool for him. You know, not a Rams fan, but I do respect uh, Puka Nakua kind of coming out of nowhere and just being a workforce already. And so, yeah, 21 to 20 is the final score. So the 49ers will await, um, you know, the wild card results to see who they'll play. And, um, you know, very interesting final week here. You had the Seahawks get eliminated in the NFC. The Saints are out. Um, and, um, the Giants Eagles game was a, a very interesting result as well. So, you know, hopefully we'll, um,
have a good, you know, divisional uh, divisional game, but the 49ers won't play until that round, uh, as you know, the NFC wild card round will be without them as they're the number one seed. So let me know your thoughts. Rams win 21 to 20. I'll see you guys uh, in the next one and uh, go Niners.